start by showing you a video or something? Medical spending in the U.S. is expected to double to $4.4 trillion by the year 2018. The question is, can this problem really be solved? I know we had a big discussion on this on my blog at sjasonhunter.com about Obama's plan to add tax to soft drinks and junk foods to help people from buying these foods. Maybe it would deter them from buying them if they're more expensive. There's a lot of opinions going back and forth on whether this would actually help people live a healthier life or not. What do you think? Would this really help? Or are we always going to be looking at doubling our medical spending every 10 years? Leave your comments right here on the blog. I'd really like to know what your thoughts are on this and your opinions because maybe we get enough people out there discussing this, people will start to realize it doesn't take taxes to change our eating habits. Leave your thoughts right here on the blog. I'd love to hear them. Right, before we go on, um, can anyone tell me what they thought about that video real quick? Any comments on that?
Um, I was working the other day and someone came to Wise actually, told me that he found out the bread at Burger King's, like the bread at Burger King, highly cancerous. I just found out, so I'm gonna do some research on that myself. So that's crazy right there. No, that's just the bread. Healthy food can be too much for the wallet. That's true. You go out and buy organic food, you're gonna be broke. But it's better to be broke than you know, be unhealthy in that sense. But uh, I don't think that Obama right now or or someone to lower the prices for them because uh, gas prices stink. Common knowledge about healthy food is that organic foods are pricey. That was my own knowledge right there. And I got all this from the iceberg.com. A child suffering from obesity is in danger of experiencing major health risk and even death. The added health concerns accompany with obesity according to the U.S. Center for Disease Control include psychological, cardiovascular, and additional health risk. Pediatrician Dr. Edgardo Hildardo says children ages 10 to 15 are susceptible to weight issues if they don't support their development, their physical activity, and healthy eating habits. Kids have a tendency to play and be very busy at a young age, and when they get a little older, you can transform that physical activity to something more sedentary, which is video games and watching TV and doing the internet. And that kind of drops off. And so when you have a growth spurt that is not supported by an increase in physical activity, then that is the equation to obesity. The reasons aren't complex. Are more unhealthy foods and kids are being less physically active, spending more time inside, playing video games, or watching TV. Health professionals agree that children who spend the majority of their time inside playing video games and watching TV lose out on their innate ability of staying active. According to the U.S. Surgeon General, childhood obesity is a growing epidemic in the country and asks that children in this generation will have shorter lifespans if they continue to live unhealthy lives. Dr. Thomas Shea agrees that children should stay active. If a kid who's growing up, stay active. You know, play sports. Stay away from alcohol, stay away from tobacco. Those things are going to add to your bad cardiovascular status anyway. Aside from the major health concerns related to childhood obesity, doctors agree that this concern is easy to correct in the youth in comparison to adults. Krista Wallenstein, Pacific News Center. All right, consequences of poor eating. You're going to have type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and a lot of cardiovascular diseases. It's very unhealthy. Children with obesity have long-term health problems. They grow up, they have, they have a hard time living. They, do, they don't do anything about it. Because of the sedentary, sedentary behavior, the school lunches that they have, and um, much more. And obviously, you have to be people who eat correctly and also spend more calories than consume, keeping them active, reduce their bad health risks by a long shot. Just stay active, play sports, have fun, get out there, run the woods or something. It's a good campus. We see uh, can also shorten a lifespan if not taken care of. You guys should all know that by now, right? It's very unhealthy. Recap, I went over problems, a healthy eating, pros and cons, and the consequences of poor eating. Here's my sources, and here's the end. Any questions, just email me.